Zhu Jingxiang and Huang Zhengli, who are from the School of Architecture in the Chinese University of Hong Kong, designed a very affordable, long-lasting school structure for children in the Nairobi slum. Zhu, together with his team of 13 other Chinese, started the school project last year. It has been proved to be a great success. However, Zung and his team, after much research, managed to start the construction which puzzled many local residents in Madare. This is because the school is built from unusual material instead of the usual bricks or stones. It is also affordable prefab which lasts up to 30 years with good maintenance. Because of time and also budget limits, we try to deliver a very, very new uh, technology prototype to Kenya people. So we try to <coughs> purchase most of stuff from China and also assemble and disassemble in China and also later use the ship containers and uh, take about one month's time to cross the ocean and uh, reach to Kenya. Wang Zhengli, who is the senior project consultant, said this technology puzzled many but also provided jobs for the local youth who learned new skills. Kevin Otieno is a former student at the Mkedo Beijing Primary School. He was chosen by the headmaster to be among the people helping the Chinese build the prefab school. He said they learned the skills in one week and were able to participate in making the school better. Okay, shule imesaidika kivi kubwa sana. Kwa sababu hii shule hata venye unaiona watoto walikuwa nanyeshewa, ilikuwa ni mabati alafu ilikuwa ni structure nyingine. Haiko kuwa mzuri kwa watoto. Lakini saa hii watoto wana feel comfortable wako ndani yenyewe shule. Wako kwa ile class yenye ayuko wajai ona mali popote. The volunteers from the Chinese University of Hong Kong anticipate to have more projects in Africa to improve living standards of many.